I appreciate this is very uh, disappointing and frustrating for some people, but we always said from the beginning that we would do everything we can to protect the UK from infection, from new variants. And if circumstances changed in countries that were on the green list, then we would review it and take action accordingly. Two things have occurred in Portugal. Firstly, the amount of positivity has increased significantly. It's doubled in the last three weeks to a level that's much higher than we have here in the UK. And then secondly, and perhaps more importantly, although both countries have uh, prevalence of the Indian variant or Delta variant as it's called, we're also seeing in Portugal now growing evidence of a further mutation being called the Nepal variant. We don't yet know how much of a problem that is, how transmissible it is, whether it might uh, be, uh, be too difficult even for our vaccines. But it's important that we take a cautious approach. And so we take action now whilst we do research and learn more about that variant. Well, the system that we set up uh, has three weekly reviews. We've just conducted that review and we've concluded that one of the countries on the green is Portugal, admittedly a country that many Brits are on holiday in and want to go on holiday in, but one country comes off the green list and goes on to the amber list. People who are out in Portugal and want to return before these new measures come into play do have until Tuesday to do that. So those people who are planning to come home today or over the course of the weekend will be able to do so as normal. Others, of course, might choose to, to cut their holidays short. But it's right to take a cautious approach because we want to protect this country. We want to ensure that if we can, we continue to move through the roadmap and do everything we can right now as we're approaching an important decision about whether the 21st of June reopening can go ahead.